want to start by discussing the subject of play. Um, people often view science as a very serious exploit, but it's really quite playful. And you, in particular, keep play at the forefront of your research activities. Can you tell me how play figures in your research? Um, I came to do my PhD in, to, with Andre in 1999. And at, at first, for me, it was just an opportunity to work in, in some other lab. But I was so fascinated with the style of work which Andre imposed on the lab that um, I, I work with him in the, cell, in, in the same lab since then. And it's really important that you and Andre impose the style which promotes the, the freedom of, of mind. You just allow it to do whatever you want as long as it is not boring. And for me, I'm not sure if we're doing, even if we're not doing science in the eyes of other people, it's, uh, it's nice, it's, uh, it's enjoyable, and that's what, what I like. I suppose when children start off being curious about the world and they do their first experiments, that's just play. They're just playing around. But somehow most people lose that ability to fulfill their curiosity through play. Oh, I think... Uh, saying that it's a play, it's a little bit of exaggeration, but I would put it a slightly different manner uh, of speech. Uh, so essentially, science is not a 100 meter race, okay? You have to do marathon for 40, 50 years of your life, and uh, to keep you active and keep you running, you have to keep some interest in your research. If you are doing something like uh, your PhD supervisor gave you a project and then from scientific cradle to scientific coffin you go just along the straight railway line, that's boring. So it doesn't keep you involved, doesn't keep you interested. So during this work you try to make it more fun, more interest, try to new direction, step left, step right, no problem at all. 